Number five, a manipulator will create drama to attract people's attention. Uh, an experienced manipulator knows that emotions are his tools. So therefore, instead of using logic and explaining to people what he or she wants, a manipulator will use emotions. And this usually is a female tactics. So if you don't agree with her, she will get upset, she will get angry, and she might even call your names. She will try to blame you for her mood. So a manipulator might cry suddenly, but she will avoid eye contact because um, she knows uh, subconsciously, she knows subconsciously that uh, our body language never lies. And she might be a good actor, but people can still spot her manipulation. So she will hide her face to avoid eye contact. And this type of manipulation uh, is what I call semi-conscious. So usually those women, they know that they manipulated, but they are so used to this game. So it's like a part of their life. They know it and uh, that's why they hide their face, but they're playing this game for years. Usually kids uh, use this type of manipulation when they can uh, cry, but you know that they're faking it. So this is kind of the same. <clears throat> so a person who uses emotions to manipulate others often does it semi-consciously. And um, although for kids it's kind of normal, this is the way how they learn different types of communications. And when your child is trying to manipulate you, you should stop this type of behavior. So your child will not grow up and manipulate other people. Because uh, if um, your daughter will do this, if your daughter will learn this game, it's going to be Mm, it's not going to make her happy because she will have to live in a constant lie and she will not be able to create a uh, loving, caring, honest, close relationship with other people. So, but uh, still for kids, it's kind of normal. This is the way how they learn what is good and what is bad in life. But for adults, it's not really normal. So even if a person does not realize that uh, she uses uh, manipulation, it does not mean that you should allow her to do it. So if you won't uh, allow to do it with you, uh, at first, this person will try harder. And uh, it's going to be even more drama and she will put all her acting skills to show you that it's a real emotions and she really feels bad uh, in order for you to feel guilt she will uh, increase her emotions but if you won't allow her to do it and if you will not react into her manipulations she will um, probably find another victim she will distance yourself uh, herself from you and uh, she might ignore your calls, texts, or even any conversations. And if this person is your close friend, or maybe uh, if she is your girlfriend, then you might think that you don't want to lose this person. You don't want to lose your relationship. And unfortunately, she is the one who is using and abusing your friendship. So she is the one who is not allowing your friendship to grow into meaningful relationship. So when you say no to such person, when you're not going to fall into this type of manipulation, you will give her and yourself an opportunity to create a healthy relationship where both of you are equal. So uh, often because we are afraid to lose our close friend, to lose them, uh, relationship, romantic relationship, we are willing to basically to sacrifice ourselves. But the more we sacrifice, the more toxic those relationships becomes.